What's up, Peak Timers? Let's open up the newest Hot Wheels Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR from the Then and Now series. This one in blue with the Hot Wheels Racing Team graphics on it. The then car was the Dodge Viper RT10. This is the now variation. We've got the big wing on the back. I love the graphics on the side. That front lip looks really good. We've got the white base as well on this one, but overall an excellent looking Dodge Viper. 32 Ford from Rod Squad. This one's got the Golf livery on it. Love the Golf livery. Looks really good. The number three on the side. The big chrome engine with the Golf logo just right on the top right there. Nice looking front end as well. Very classic casting. We've seen this one quite a bit, but I do really like it. I love the Golf livery. 95 Jeep Cherokee from Baja Blazers. This is a brand new recolor. We saw this casting released earlier this year. I really like the look of this casting. I love like all the accessories included on it. Look at that roof right there with all the accessories, the big wheel tire gas in the back right there, a nice widened stanced and lifted on this one. It's a really cool looking casting. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit down our track, but still it's nice to have. Honda Civic SI, and this is from a Honda Civic series. This one in a maroon color with the white wheels on there. The graphics on the side look very nice. I like that wing as well. Good detail and stamping on the rear end. Civic, it says right there in the corner as well. On the front end, we've got lots of good painted roof and painted graphics on there. Look at that front light, the Honda logo in the middle. So overall, lots of good stamping, lots of good painting, that sunroof on the top right there. It's a very, very nice looking Honda Civic. 1990 Honda Civic EF, also from the Honda series. This one in gray looks like the lowered out Civic. We got the red interior on there, that little spoiler at the top, the nice sunroof right there, painted front hood right there, and then also look at the stamp lighting. And right there, we've got that little bitty Honda logo stamping on the rear end as well. Overall, looking good. Aston Martin Vantage GTE from Hot Wheels Exotic Series. This is a brand new casting and I love Aston Martins. I think they look great. This color looks excellent on it. Look at that aggressive front end. All the painting looks so good on it. That big rear spoiler on there as well. That diffuser on the back. Black base all on the bottom right there. Blacked out wheels. Just an overall really, really cool Aston Martin. I can't wait to see all the new colors that they come out with this in this one. Track Ripper from Spoiler Alert. Track Ripper has been one of my favorite Hot Wheels fantasy castings. I really like the look of it. It kind of looks like a Viper mixed in with some sort of exotic. Look at the aggressive front end on there, that big lip on there. Look at all the graphics that this one has as well. Nice looking red with the white graphics and the black writing on there. Big spoiler on the back end. Love the blacked out wheels. We got chrome red lip on the front and regular chrome lip on the back. Look at that big spoiler. And again, looking like a Dodge Viper kind of from the back end, but overall, I really, really like the track ripper. Audi RS e-tron GT from HW Green Speed. This is a brand new red recolor, very, very glossy and very clean looking. I like the gray wheels on here, detailed on that front end, obviously being a fully electric car, but we've got the Audi logo on the front, the nice lights on there. And then we go around to the back end right there. Look at that light bar on the rear end, the Audi logo right there as well. Nice license plate, just a very cool looking clean Audi e-tron GT. What do you guys think of this one? Mod Rod from Rod Squad series. I love this new recolor. I think this color is just trending right now. It looks really, really cool. Very, very nice. I like it. Blacked out wheels, 56 on the side, HW written there. We got the sunroof with the exposed interior all in chrome. We got the chrome engine on here. And then on that front end, very chrome, that chrome side pipes that come out right there as well. Just an overall great looking new recolor of the Rod Squad. Drone Duty from HW Rescue. 
this is a brand new Hot Wheels casting right here. We've got, I'm not really sure exactly what it is supposed to be. Maybe it is supposed to be a drone. It's got the fans just right there on the back end. And then it's, I don't know if it's got like some sort of like handle or pickup thing right here. We got smaller wheels on the front, bigger ones on the rear, but they're massive wheels. It says rescue on there. So maybe it's like some sort of rescue drone of some sort, but it doesn't look too bad. Look at the detail on the inside. Is that a little guy right there? I think it is like a little dude just sitting right in there. That is crazy. He's lying down. You can see he's got a helmet on. Just very interesting casting overall. I'm not really sure exactly what to think of this one. What do you guys think of drone duty though? McLaren Elva from HW Exotics. This is also a brand new casting. This one in gloss black with the nice kind of like brownish tan interior on there. We've got the number 12 on the side of it. Gray wheel tire combination. And this is just the open roadster. There's no windshield or anything. Just look at that. That would be so fun to drive and just feel the wind right in your face. Looks like we have a slight bit of air on the front tampa work right there. You can see it's just got a slight little misprint for that tampa work. But just overall, I've really, really like this casting and I'm happy to see what they're going to come out with for some recolors of it. And there we have all of the cars that we opened up today. Let me know in the comment section down below which ones you found already. Don't forget to hit that like, follow, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.